I'm seeing way too many people get into high level thinking it's an easy ticket to make money and the learning curve is just too high or they just can't build something good enough to showcase and get a customer. So I'm gonna go ahead and build something, show you from scratch how I do market research to come up with the idea and then go ahead and build it in high level and then have that as a sub account ready to share with whoever joins my affiliate link and then that way they can have a ready to go snapshot and then go sell it immediately. So stick through this. Even if you don't use my affiliate link, just follow along. You'll have a completely built out sub account for yourself, ready to rock and roll. So we come into Gemini, Gemini 3, by the way, shout out, amazing, the best LLM out there right now. We ask, what's the service-based business that has the most demand for automation and AI integration? Give me the top three that I should target my go high level services with. And it says, okay, based on market research, here's the first one, home services, HVAC, plumbing, roofing, restoration. These businesses miss 40% of their calls. Why? Because they're on a roof or they're on a job or they're speaking with a customer and their phone's in their pocket or sitting in their van. And every call that they miss could be 500 to $10,000. And then the lifetime value of that customer, because they're going to keep calling every month or every season, it's on and on and on. Okay, so that's a good one. Let's keep looking. Private healthcare and aesthetics, yes. Med spas, chiropractors, cosmetics. These are high ticket items because once you get a customer, they keep coming back. Botox, I don't have any, but I imagine you keep wanting to come back. So every six weeks, you could set up somebody on a subscription base and then their lifetime value right here, 5,000 a year. That'll be a good one. Mobile concierge service. Oh, like car detailing, mobile pet grooming, where they come to you and then they take care of something or some need. Okay, that's interesting also. So I did speak to my friend Alex earlier today and he was gonna build a med spa. So let me just go ahead and target this one. Yeah, I'll just build this as a template for him and then if he wants to customize it himself, he can, but at least he'll have something ready to go for himself. So the first thing you do is you open up a new browser, go ahead and paste my affiliate link in there, hit enter. With this, you get a 30 day free trial and then you also get a boot camp from high level. So you can't really go wrong. Try it out, see if it works, and hopefully you're profitable before your trial even expires. So come over here, click on join the high level bootcamp, sign up, put in your information, and then you end up in here. This is the agency view. You can see that you don't have anything over here for now. You won't have any of these sub accounts like I do. And then come over here on the top right, create your first sub account. The sub account, think of it as like a business and you can create unlimited businesses in high level. You can create one for every business in your entire city and then charge them on subscriptions or build outs for them. So in here, we have some snapshots that you can work off of templates. Here's your medical spa, let's go ahead and click that one. The first thing it asks is your address. I'm just gonna make one up, 123 William Street, sounds good. You go ahead and pick that, fill in your business information and then make sure this is turned off. Otherwise it's gonna enter a bunch of gibberish data that you have to delete afterwards. So hit add sub account. Okay, now we have a sub account called med spa, perfect. So let's go create a couple of things for it. You go up to the top left, click on it, find med spa in your list. And now we've entered the business section of high level. So within this business called med spa, that's located in New York, New York, we're now going to build out all of the tools we need in order to be successful. This could be something like a calendar where customers will book an appointment. It could be a phone number that we could lease. We could buy a domain called medspa.com. That's probably not going to be available, but then we can build a site we can have forms that people can come and fill out. We can have artificial intelligence, an agent basically sitting there 24 seven as a receptionist waiting for somebody to comment on your Facebook post or land on your website or submit an Instagram comment. So let's make a calendar. Uh, it's not this one up here. You have to go down to settings and then click on calendars. Over to the right, new calendar. And then we're gonna pick a personal booking here. This is just a one-on-one -on -one calendar. Let's say you're uh, the only one in your business and people come and they book appointments only with you. If you have a team, you might want a round robin, meaning any new lead that comes in that books an appointment will go to each member of your team one by one. So everybody gets a turn. Class book booking is just the way it sounds. Maybe you're hosting a class and people can sign up and then you teach them something or you address a large number of folks, maybe like a webinar. And then this is the opposite. Maybe somebody's coming in for an interview and they need to talk to the owner, the manager, and the shift lead at the same time. So this would be like a panel. So in this case, let's just pick personal booking. If you already had team members, you would assign them here. 
and classic mistake, you actually have to have a team member in order to create a calendar. It's a chicken and the egg thing, so let's cancel that and we'll come back. Let's go over to my staff, add user, and we'll call it test stat member, and then test last name, and then we'll give them an email as well. And then of course we can't make a calendar or assign them to a calendar because we haven't created the calendar. It's a chicken and the egg thing. So let's go ahead and create the person first, hit next. This staff member can be the owner of the business for now. So we'll just give them all of the permissions, they have admin and everything is turned on. So they have access to do anything they want within this business, which is totally fine. And then hit save. Hit save on that. Now we have our first user. You can see the user info again. They're called test staff member. So let's go over to the calendar that we're trying to create. And let's get new calendar, personal booking, Give it a name again. Now we can select the team member that we just created and then hit confirm. And now this would be the link that you would share with anybody that would want to book an appointment on your calendar with. You could copy this, put it into your signature block, for example. You could post it on your business card. I don't know, somewhere on your website. And I'll show you how to embed this into your website and then use it in some clever ways to get bookings. And then let's take a look. What would this look like? Nice, decent calendar, med spa appointment calendar, 30 minute increments, today's this date. And then right now they have availability all the way till 4.30. Those are the business hours that we can adjust if we needed to. And they can go ahead and book appointments here. Okay, close that, come back to high level. Now we have our calendar. Let's see what else we can create. Now let's go create a site and then we'll plug this calendar on the site. So click on sites here on the left side go up to websites and because we picked our template this already comes with a MedSpot template in it let's take a look let's preview this okay that looks pretty decent I like the picture welcome to MedSpa operating hours appointments locations that was based on the fake address that we came up with uh, this is also my number for my AI agent right they probably offer all of these things too so what we would have to do is figure out these appointment links see how they don't work right now they just come back to the home page what we're going to do is link our calendar that we just created to all of these book appointments and then we'll automatically get appointments modern equipment all kinds of treatment we all already have a staff that's very nice and it comes with testimonials even better although it keeps saying lorem ipsum lorem ipsum so we do need to update those and then faqs even if you don't know anything about med spas like this will give you a pretty good idea of what services they offer you know what your team should be comprised of how you book appointments so we can work with this so let's go back to high level we're inside the sites again websites and then these are the five pages of the website so let's click edit. And if you wanted to change anything across your entire website, you now have prompt based AI that you just tell it what you want to change. Like if I don't like the color, I can change that. Or if I want to add an image, I can change that as well. But for now, let's go ahead and plug in our calendars. So double click this, and then this bar opens up. This right here is a link. And so if you click this, it'll show you where this is going. And over here is where we want to put the link to our calendar. So if you didn't grab this already, let's go grab our calendar link. Once again, grab our calendar link, go into the sub account, MedSpa, go down to settings and then calendars. And then here's the calendar that you would have created. Go ahead and hit the share calendar button and then copy the top one, scheduling link. Bring that back to the site where we were, double click the link again and paste. And then open link in new window or the current window. I think probably keep it in the current window and then hit save and do that for each one. Double click, click the link, replace everything, paste it right on the top there, current window, save. Double click and that's all of them. Hit save on the top right. And then this one right here is the preview button. So click on that and that'll show you what your website is gonna look like. Let's scroll down and let's test this button. Book an appointment and the calendar opens, beautiful. And now if the customer changes their mind, they're like, oh, wait, I got to go back. They can hit the back button and take them back to their website. I'm just going to make sure all of these buttons work. This third one doesn't for some reason. Go back and the last one. Okay, so the third one didn't work for some reason. It's probably me. Let's double click it again. Hit the link again. You know, it's in there. Save and save and then preview. 
test the middle one and it works perfect now what will happen is that when somebody books an appointment here let's say 8 a.m for tomorrow and then we'll just say test user test last name user and then we'll come up with a fake phone number we'll say i would like some botox i don't know if that's how you spell botox i confirm and then schedule it'll schedule a meeting and i'll say your, your meeting has been scheduled perfect and we can customize these and say your appointment has been scheduled or your med spa moment of peace has been scheduled whatever you want to call it and then they can plug it into their google calendar if they want calendars for outlook or their outcloud icloud as well and then this is going to send them an email confirmation as well and then inside your sub account when you go over to contacts like go back and then contacts you now have their contact information plugged in so they're in your crm automatically you can click on them and then it opens up an entire section for that user where you can now text them and email them directly from the high level platform so once you have your phone number added you can text them straight from here once you have an email set up you can email them straight from here like this and then we can just say you know thank you for booking an appointment or hey i'm running late whatever the case is Okay, let's see what else we can fix on this site. So other places for appointments like this one, we can go ahead and change that. This one's a button. So you just click on it, go over to the right. This will have an action. Scroll down where it says button actions. And we'll say link to website URL. And then you can paste your link in the website section. So this will actually go to that particular calendar as it's browsing the net. And then hit save on that. This one right here says free consultation, clever way, but all roads lead to Rome. So we're going to go ahead and change that one. And we'll say that is also going to go get them to book on our calendar and hit save. And wherever you see these variables right here, like location name, this is where you can enter your business name, call it Metspas R Us, for example, in high level. And high level will automatically plug in your business name into each one of these categories. So when you decide to sell this as a complete med spa in a box digital platform, you just tell your customer, hey, go ahead and enter your normal business name in high level when you're signing up. And then the entire website will just update your business information automatically. And then, like I said, whatever we want to edit, we can go ahead and tell AI to do it for us. So we don't have to hand jam things in here necessarily. So I said, please update the testimonials to be more realistic. Avoid putting placeholder data. And it just went ahead and updated them. Great. I struggled with stubborn acne scars for years. And look at this, even put a variable in there. So clever. Because now when we change our business name, it'll automatically plug in the business name here. Now, of course you want realistic testimonials. Of course you want realistic testimonials, but this is just the power of high level that it can do this for you. Let's take a look at FAQs. So you have to click on it, go to the right, click list item, and then it'll expand the one you're editing. When the website is live, they'll work seamlessly. This is the global section, meaning that every page would have something like this. And if you update one page, it'll update all of them. So just say don't show again and hit save. Okay, FAQs look very realistic. Uh, let's go ahead and change our logo up here. So I don't know if you remember, people used to go to Fiverr and pay people like 50 bucks to generate a logo. Now you can do it for free. Go over to Gemini, hit create image. This is Nano Banana. So create a beautiful sleek logo for a med spa in New York. So it came up with Lumina Aesthetics. I like the name, but I want this to be a little bit more impressive. So I'm going to say, make this even more impressive. I'm going to place this on my website. Just give it a little bit more context, much better. Okay, let's download this and then go back to high level, click on the logo and then over to the right is the image. Click on this image icon and then you have to upload your images to high level and then from here you update the website. So upload and then here's the image now and then you can click on it one time and then say insert media. And now we have our logo, beautiful. If it's too big, too small, whatever the case is, over here on the side, you can do size. Let's go with 200, sounds about right. When you do one, it'll automatically adjust the second one since it's set to auto. Okay, hit save. Let's take a look. So now I have their business name, welcome to Med Spa. This was one of those variables. It has our phone number that I plugged in. It has this. Let's make sure everything works. It does. Uh, let's fix our logo down here as well. So go back to high level, scroll all the way down, click on logo, image, and you can just double click it as well. And now we have our logo down here, easy. 
Now I noticed this, we don't have a location email. That's why I didn't plug it in here. So if you wanted to just, for example, just hard code it in, you could just say something like info at medspot.com. Let's say that was your email. You can just plug it in there like that and then hit save. Okay, so to make a website effective, the goal is to get the customer to either come to your business, meaning set an appointment, or just give you their contact information. We call this a lead magnet. So one way to do that is you have a form on your website that people can fill out. And you have some interesting requests on the form, like, you know, fill this out or submit your email and we'll give you a how-to guide on looking 20 years younger in five steps, something like that. And so that entices them to give you their email address in return for this book or pamphlet or email, whatever you're gonna promise them. So let's go create a lead magnet in the next video. So if you want this up to this point, join my school community, use my affiliate link, or don't, I don't really care. I still wanna give this to you. I still want you to be successful. So hit me up and I'll hand you this snapshot or wait until the series is done and then hit me up and then you get a completely filled out snapshot. Either way, I look forward to working with you soon. If you wanna try your hand at doing this yourself instead of just watching, you can use my high-level affiliate link in the description below. If you use that, you get an extended 30-day high-level trial, hundreds of pre-built AI agents, access to my school community, 40-plus business and marketing courses that I've built. You'll have all of my website template that you've seen me create. I'll even hop on a live Zoom call with you twice a week to help guide you and build your business with you. You'll have a direct line to me and also a chance to join my agency and run some of these businesses that I have, as well as take on my client. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.